Good morning. What's going on guys? It's another day, so another project. Well, not really a full project. This is going to be part of a project that I'm working on. It's a little bit bright out here. As you guys know, I'm an architect and as an architect, what I really appreciate is when materials are sort of expressed in this natural state. So trucks and cars just driving on by all rude and everything. But as I was saying, I like materials that are sort of expressed in its natural state. So if it's wood, then I just like how it looks. No type of finishing, just let it gray out over time. If it's concrete, then I like the natural board form looks of concrete. It looks really nice and rugged. Um, and when it comes to metal, well, metal is a different story because metal tends to rust and it could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing. But for me, I kind of like that rusted metal finishing, especially when you combine it with different materials like concrete or wood. It just elevates the aesthetics of a project, I think. What I'm working on right now is a small coffee table for the house. I'm using these brackets here by Self Made. And as you can see here, these brackets are already pre-bent to receive a one by piece of material. So maybe a one by piece of walnut, one by piece of white oak. You just buy it at a big box store, slide into these slots here. And there's two screws that you simply just would install two screws to hold it together. Very cool product. Full disclosure, Self Made does not sponsor my channel. They did reach out to me to see if I wanted to try this product out. And I thought, so no money has been exchanged. I just thought it was a really cool product when they showed it to me. And I wanted to show it to you guys as well because I know that some of my videos, I do have really big expensive tools, mainly because I do this as a uh, full-time thing. Not a lot of you guys will have tools out there to make furniture or build furniture. The thing about this is you don't really need that much tools. You only just need a tool that can cut down the piece of wood down to size based off of the, the length of your furniture or your table. And that's pretty much it. You could buy a top for this that's pre-made and cut it down to the right size. So I wanted to show you guys this because it's a very simple solution to make a custom piece of furniture for your own house. I opted for their raw steel finish because I want to actually incorporate some rust into my build. So by just using a few household products that I'm pretty sure you can find in your own house, we're gonna turn this raw steel here into something like this. So let's do this. In order for us to get this done, we're going to need a few different products and some of the stuff you could probably find in your own house. Uh, the first thing that we will need is white vinegar. This is just distilled vinegar that I got from the grocery store. Some hydrogen peroxide, and this is going to be the main ingredient that we need. And lastly, you just need some plain salt. Um, nothing too fancy, just get the cheapest one that you can find. I got two bottles here that's going to help me apply the solution. One bottle is a pure straight vinegar solution. And the other one is a mix of the vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and the salt. I did a lot of research into the solution and how to apply it. And a lot of guys would just spray on the actual mix um, and it works just fine. From what I've seen, if you just use the mix solution, you get like a very blotchy finish. If you like that blotchy look, um, then go for it. I don't like that blotchy look. For me, I want the rest to look a little bit more even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the vinegar solution by itself as a primer. I'm going to spray it on the metal and then once that dries I'm going to apply the mixed solution. For the solution I'm mixing eight hydrogen peroxide to one white vinegar and then just a tablespoon of salt. I already went ahead and mixed it into the spray gun here because I did a few of the brackets already. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray down this last bracket right here just to give you guys an idea of how it looks during the process. So let's get started. All right, it's pretty simple. Just take your solution, spray it on. Nothing too fancy, let it, make sure you coat everything. This is the vinegar solution by itself, not mixed. Um, just make sure you have some kind of uh, cloth or something at the bottom. You don't wanna make a mess because this could get pretty messy especially when you let it sit and rust. Oh, that's gonna stain your workbench, so you wanna cover it up. All right, so I got the vinegar sprayed on. That is pretty much it. What I'll do now is I'm gonna let it dry. It's gonna take about maybe 
10 to 15 minutes or so. Let it dry and then I'll come back and spray on the actual mix. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. I let it dry. If there was still a little bit of vinegar on the surface, then I just wiped it off. As you can see, the metal is starting to rust already, which is, um, which is kind of what you want. You know that it's working. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and spray on the mix solution. This is the eight to one mix with a little bit of salt. For this step, just make sure you're wearing gloves. It's gonna get a little bit messy, so let's get to it. I think my, my bottle broke. <laughs> oh no, no way. I think the, the cap just broke. Um, I'll just go ahead and use over here. There we go. And then just spray it. And you should immediately start to see it really take color. As you can see right before your eyes, there's like this even rusting that's going on here. It looks really nice. Turn around, spray the back, make sure you get everything. Make sure that's nice and even. You want to coat the entire surface. All right. So I like to lean it over like this. That way I can get the main side and don't forget the top too. So, all right. As you guys can see, it looks really good so far. I'm liking what I'm seeing. The rust is really even. There's no streak or any dripping that's going on with the rust that you typically see. So this is looking really good. Uh, I'll just spray it until it looks really golden yellow. So the entire thing is covered. I'm going to let it sit for about 30 minutes. And after that, we'll just go ahead and wipe down any of the remaining um, solution that's on the surface. All right, the metal has been sitting for about 30 minutes or so, and it looks pretty much perfect, guys. Just check that out. There's like this even, Rusting, there's no blotching, no running streaks or anything like that. It's pretty much perfect. Man, that looks amazing. I am super excited and satisfied with this result. I honestly think it's a lot better than the ones that I've done before. You guys can see here. This one I did before. These are the first couple of trials that, uh, that I sprayed. And as you guys can see there, this is still pretty even, but I mean this, like, I mean, I, I don't know if it's like the humidity. I didn't do anything in terms of the mix ratio. It's from the same bottle. Yeah, so I don't know what went on, but this result was, I think is a lot better than the ones that I did previously. And that's the cool thing about working with these raw materials, like natural woods, uh, metal, concrete. Two pieces will never ever look the same, which is really cool. In the next video, we're going to use these brackets for the coffee table build. So you want to stay tuned for that. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click that like button. And if you have any questions about this process, just comment down below. Leave some questions and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And if you want to support my channel, click that subscribe button and definitely share this video. Until next time, guys, this has been Bauer Design Craft Workshop. See ya.